Okay, so hi, good evening, everybody. How are you? How do you feel today? What about your day? How was it? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Happy. You're happy? Okay. Yeah. Okay. What about your day, Yvette? How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Good. Good. Okay, perfect. So, good evening, Marcelo. Good evening, Irving. Good evening, Brian. Good evening. Good evening, good evening teacher. Hi. Okay, so how are you? I'm fine. You're I'm hungry. <laughs> You're hungry? Okay, so then, guys. Uh, let's start. Okay, Tanya. Okay. Okay. So we're going to start with today's class and well, today we have different things to cover. And first, we are going to start with the quote of the day. And Brian, can you please help us reading the quote of this day? The proposal for life is to be happy. Thank you. So the purpose of our lives is to be happy, okay? And that is true. Remember that you should always try to be happy, okay? Most of the time. Then let's continue. And today's agenda, we have the warm up, We have vocabulary, a lot of vocabulary today. We have grammar as well. We have a speaking, we have practice time, and we also have exercises. So we are going to start with the warm up, and today we are going to play something that is called a stop the bus. Do you know what is a stop the bus? Have you played it in English? No, right? So a stop the bus is the same as bachillerato stop. It's the same, but just in English, okay? So as you can see right here, we have three categories. Tres categorías. We have three right here. We have color, we have verb, and we have adjective. So I'm going to give you the letter. I'm going to give you the letter. Le voy a dar yo la letra. And you should look for a color, for a verb, and for an adjective that starts with that letter. Okay? It's like in Spanish. Okay? Es como lo jugamos en español. Yo le digo la letra y usted busca un color, un verbo y un adjetivo que empiece con esa letra. Okay? So, we are going to play with those three categories. Get ready. Okay, get ready. And the first, the first letter, the first letter that we are going to play with. Okay, the first letter. You have one, well, no, two minutes. I'm going to give you two minutes, okay, to think. Dos minutos para que piense, okay? So the first letter, cuando ya lo tenga, cuando ya tenga las tres, dice stop the bus, all right? So the first letter is letter B, B. That is the first letter, B, letter B, okay? So you have two minutes right now. B, a color, a verb, in an adjective that starts, que comience, that starts with the letter B. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One minute. Color, a verb, and an adjective. Event. 
color? Yes. Brown. Brown. Perfect. Verb? Boy. Bye. Boy. Bye. 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 Perfect. Adjective? Big. Big. Excellent. Okay, Yvette. You get one point. Okay. So, yes. Very good. Yvette, one point. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Next. Okay. So, with the letter, let me see. Oh, this one is easy. Okay. It's easy. A R. Letter R. Okay. Color, a verb, and an adjective. Mm -hmm. A color, a verb, and an adjective. Mm -hmm. EC. Okay. Oh my God, a color with the letter. Stop the bus. Okay, stop the bus, Marcelo. Let's see. Go. Uh, color red. Yes. Red. Red. Yeah. The adjective rain. Adjective. Okay. Uh, rain. Rain. Uh, lluvia. Mm, no rain, maybe rainy. Okay, so let's see, Yvette. Um, color, red. Yes. Um, verb, read. Okay. Left. Yes. Um, adjective, rude. Rude, rude, rude. Yes. Okay, rude, yes. Marcelo, rain, rain is not an adjective. Rain is a noun, a nombre. Okay, so very good, Yvette. The last one, okay, the last one. Let's see, the last one, the last one. This one is really easy, the last one. With the letter, with the letter, with the letter P, P. Of the bus. Okay, Brian. Let's see. Color. And um, purple. 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 Yes. And the very is pa painting, like. Like paint. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And the adjective is pain. Like a dolor. Pain. Okay. Okay. Pain. Pain is not an adjective. Pain is a noun. Okay. Somebody else? Yvette. Oh my God, Yvette. 
Okay. Uh, Color pink. Yes. Verb play. Yes. Adjective persistent. Persistent. Yes. Poor as well, right? Like pobre, poor. Mm -hmm. Adjectives. Okay, but very good. So today, Yvette, all right? You are the winner. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. So let's continue and we are going to start with vocabulary. Okay, vocabulary that we can find in the office. Okay, so as you can see right here, we have desk. Okay, repeat after me, you alone. Okay, desk, files, printer, clipboard, notepad, hanging file. Tab, divider, accordion file, accordion file, briefcase, laptop, file cabinet. Okay, Luis, file cabinet. Personal organizer, personal organizer, stapler. Oh, I don't know if you can see, but stapler, paper clip, scissors, rubber band, bulldog clip, bulldog clip, paper clip, pushing, stapler again, stapless. Okay. Tape dispenser. Hole punch, rubber stamp, ink pad, okay? And we also have adhesive tape, adhesive tape, okay? So guys, this is vocabulary that you can use in the office. Let me ask you, do you have a laptop? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Do you have a desk? Mm, okay, Brian, no, no, I don't. Okay, so Yvette, do you have a desk? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Marcelo, do you have a printer? In the office. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, okay. Erebin, do you have a hole punch? A hole punch. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Erica, do you have a rubber stamp? Yes, I do. Okay. Tanya, do you have paper clips? Paper clips? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Suleyma, do you have scissors? Yes, I do. Perfect. Um, okay, so let me see. Hello, teacher. Okay. Okay, Luis. All right. So let's see. Let's continue. We also have more vocabulary right here. Okay, and pay attention because this is really important. Okay, this is for you to get more vocabulary. So we have match the two columns to form phrases. So what we need to do is that we need to match. Okay, we need to match. So number one, work on a computer. Okay, so nosotros trabajamos en la computadora. So we work on a computer. Yes, we work on a computer. Cuando usted quiere decir, yo trabajo con la computadora, you can say, I work on a computer. Okay, so then let me see. Then we also have number two, commute to, commute to. Okay, so commute to, 
ir al trabajo. Commute to. Commute to work. Okay. Usted viaja. Viaja al trabajo. Okay. So you commute to work. Number three. Cook what? What do you cook? Breakfast. Breakfast. Very good. Cook breakfast. What about number four? You talk on the phone. You talk on the phone. Very good. You make a call. Oh, you make, make a, a call. call. Yes, you make a call. Usted hace una llamada. And read a book. book. Okay. So I need one volunteer to create sentences using simple present tense about you. For example, I work on a computer. And you continue with the other ones. Mm -hmm. I need a volunteer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Erica, go. Erika? Eh, Number one. Uh -huh. I, I, I work I work a computer. I work on a computer. Work on uh, work a computer. I work uh, on... I work a computer. Okay, Erika, again, de nuevo. I work on I work on computer. On a computer. On a computer. Okay. I work on a computer. Perfect. Two. Continue, Erika. Number two. I commute. Commute. To, to work. Perfect. Number three, Erika. I cook breakfast. Perfect. Number four. I talk on the phone. Number five. I make a call. A call. Number call. six. I read a book. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Right? So just remember pronunciation, guys. Talk. Number four, talk. You eliminate the letter L. Okay? You do not pronounce it. You do not pronounce letter L. So we do not say talk. We say talk. Like talk, talk. Okay? That is the pronunciation. Okay, let's continue. More vocabulary. Okay, so let's see. Number one, it says write. What do you write? Write. Where, where do you write? Uh, on the board. Okay, on the board. Say. Thank you. Say thank you. Number three. Get on. A bus, maybe. Get on a bus. Correct. Number four. Cook a meal. Cook a meal. Perfect. Number five. Use a microphone. Perfect. A microscope. And number six. Number six. Ride a motorcycle. Okay, ride a motorcycle. Perfect. Okay, I need another volunteer to create sentences. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Thank you, Irving. Ale? Yes. All right. So now I need you to create sentences as Erica did before with this one. Number one, I. I write. I write thank you. Oh, no, but I grab on the board. Yes. Say. Say thank you. Okay. Next. Um, I don't a bus. Okay. Four. Um, I cook on um, I cook a meal. Yes. Five. I use a motorcycle. Oh no. I use a oh sorry. I use a microscope. Yes. Six. I I ride a motorcycle. 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 Yes. Very good. All right. Let's continue. Do you have any question about vocabulary? If not, I have. I have a question for you. If you don't have for me, I have for you. Mm -hmm. No questions about vocabulary? No? Okay. So let's see. Um, do you know, guys, do you know, do you know the meaning? Do you know the meaning of get on? Do you know what is the meaning of get on? The meaning? Uh, really, I don't know, but I, I like uh, entrar, tomar. Okay. Maybe. Yes, and partially correct, okay? But thank you, Brian. Okay, so get on, guys, means whenever you take a bus, you get on the bus. Usted se sube al bus. So get on es subirse. A un bus, ¿verdad? Get on the bus. Teacher, entonces, si get on the bus es subirse, ¿cómo decimos bajarse? Me bajo del bus, dice uno. ¿Cómo lo dice en inglés? Get on es subirse. ¿Y bajarse? Mm -hmm. So, is get off. Get off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so get on, subirse, get off, bajarse, right? Perfect, let's continue, okay, let's continue. Okay, so now I want you to look at those um, sentences, right? Look at those uh, different lists because we have different um, sentences right here, guys about things that you may do at work, okay? And I need you to tell me, what do you do at work from all of this? Uh -huh. What do you do at work? What do you do? Do you make phone calls? Do you talk to clients? Do you use Zoom, do you print documents? Do you make coffee? Do you prepare invoices? Do you go on business trips? Do you write emails in English? Do you attend meetings? Do you photocopy documents? Do you deal with suppliers? Do you give presentations? Do you write letters? Do you interview job candidates? What do you do? What do you do? So what we're going to do is that we're going to start practicing with a partner, okay? I'm going to move you to breakout rooms and you are going to ask your partner all of those things, okay? So you are going to ask, for example, Irving. Irving, do you make phone calls? 
no, I yes, don't. I do. oh, okay, no. yes, I do. Sorry. Okay, yes, so Erwin, do you talk to clients? Yes, I do. Erwin, do you use Zoom? No, I do. No, I don't. I don't. Perfect. Erwin, do you print documents? Oh, yes, I do. Okay. Do you make coffee? Uh, no, I no, I don't. Do you prepare invoices? Not, I don't. Okay. What is the meaning of this? Recibos. Okay. All right. So, do you go on business trips? Recibos es lo mismo que factura en al, al porque bill factura. Yes. Sí. An invoice. Yes. Yes. Um, do you go on business trips? No sé qué es. Okay, so business trips son los viajes de negocio. Do you go on business trips? No, I don't. Okay, and so on. Así todas, 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 todas. Hasta saber qué es lo que hace su compañero and, and the things that he or she doesn't do. Y después le voy a preguntar de su compañero. Okay? So, pay attention, okay? A su compañero, ponga la atención para que pueda um, responder después. Okay, so here we go. Erica, room two. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, let me see. No, I have to. Okay. Uh, do you do you do you make phone calls? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you talk to clients? No, I don't. Do you do you use Zoom? Yes, I do. Uh, do you print document? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay. Do you make coffee? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, do you prepare? No sé cómo dijo se pronunciaba. Invoice, creo. Invoices. Invoice. Invoice. Invoices. Invoices. Yes. Okay. Do you prepare invoices? Era era como documentos, algo así. Ah, uh, facturas. Recibos. Ah, uh, no, I don't. No, I don't. Uh, do you go on business trips? Business trip? A um, business trip? Yes. No, I don't. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. um, do you write email English? Mm -hmm. uh, no, I don't. Okay. Do you uh, Attend meetings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Traduction, please. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so he's asking you if you attend meetings. Okay, attend yes. meetings is um, ir a reuniones. Una meeting es una reunión. Attend es atender o asistir en este caso. Bueno, gracias. Thanks. Ok, you're welcome. Uh, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. 
do you photocop yeah pronunciation teacher no sé yes. perdón do you photocopy photocopy yes do you photocopy documents do you photocopy documents yes I do do you deal with supply suppliers 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 sorry Mm -hmm. Do you deal with suppliers? Mm -hmm. uh, what is the meaning of suppliers? Proveedores. Proveedores. Do you deal? Do you deal with suppliers? No, I don't. You don't. Okay. Do you give? Presentation or presentation? Presentations. Sorry. Do you give presentation? Give a... Mm -hmm. Do you give presentation? Uh, no, I don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you read letters? Do you write letters? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Do you interview half candy candidates? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I don't. Okay, perfect. So now, before continuing, I'm going to give you some uh, feedback, okay? So repeat after me uh, both clients. Sorry? Clients. 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 Ah, uh, clients. Yes. Print. Print. Right. Rice. Right. Right. Job. 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 Okay, perfect. Okay, continue. Okay, continue, continue. Okay. Okay, guys, before continuing, I'm going to take attendance list. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance. Attendance. Okay, uh, let me see. I'm missing some of you. I'm missing some of you. Let me see. Okay, Christian Marcelo Ramirez Murán. Cristian Marcelo Ramírez Morán. I, I can see you, but, but yes. I think that he is having issues with the, with the microphone or something. Okay. Okay. Yes, maybe you're having issues with the, with the microphone. Right. Okay, so Brian Antonio Castro Molina. 10%. Thank you. Uh, Christian Marcelo Ramirez Morán. I think that you're having issues with the, with the microphone, okay? So Elmer Alexander Coto Sorto. Eric Alexander Escalante Barrias. Okay. Christian teacher, ya me sirve. Okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you, Christian. Uh, Erika Beatriz Reyes Méndez. Present. Thank you. Franklin Emanuel Flores Portillo. Okay. Gerson Josué Abarca Aranda. Okay. Irma del Tránsito Alegría Martínez. Irving Francisco Peraza Herrera. Present. Thank you. Yvette Elvira Aquino Peña. Present. Thank you. Johnny Iván Argueta Argueta. José Enrique Siliazar Alas. 
Jocelyn Guadalupe Romero Évora. Kelvin Omar Martínez Ramírez. Liliana Beatriz Jiménez Colorado. Luis Ernesto Nuila Castro. Luis Ernesto Nuila Castro. Marco Rubén García Rodríguez. Okay. Reinaldo Alberto Vázquez Torres. Tania Vanessa Moreno Navas. Tania Vanessa Moreno Navas. Present. Thank you. Zuleima Guadalupe Chicas Aguilar. Present. Thank you, Zuleima. Okay, perfect. So let's continue, okay? Let me, um, yes, we are going to continue with the same partner. Yeah. <risa> Solo listo, vale, si quieren empezamos con ustedes ya. Vale, entonces sí, sí, porque de ustedes solo me hace falta. Vale, la, no me la, usted. la antepenúltima vale. me haría falta de usted, que es: Do you give a presentation? Ah, la. Um, ¿Qué quiere decir? ¿De dónde? Give a presentation. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eh, como creo que es como dar clases, como dar una presentación, ah, una exposición, algo así. Exposición. Ah, ah pues, yes, I do. Yes. Yes. And the next Later. is, uh, do you write letters? Mm -hmm. mm, yes, I do. Okay. And the last one is, do you interview your candidates? Candidates. Yo, um, 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 no, those. no, I, no, I don't, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't, okay, I have a question, what, What, what do you say, candidates, in English, oh, the yes. correct form? Yes, very good. So I was about to, to tell you that. So the pronunciation is candidates. 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 Thank yes. you. Okay. Okay. It's my turn. Uh-huh, okay. Did you make phone calls? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, do you talk to clients? Yes, I do. Okay, uh, do you use Zoom? No, I don't. Do you print documents? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I do. Okay. And okay. um, do you make coffee? Well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I do, but it's uh -huh. not correct. Okay. Do you prepare invoices? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. No, okay. Uh, do you go on business trips? No, I don't. Okay. Do you write emails in English? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Okay. Do you attend meetings? Mm -hmm. uh, no, I don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, do you photocopy documents? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Okay. okay. Do you deal with supplies? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Okay. Do you give presentation? Mm -hmm. uh, una una pregunta. Uh, mm -hmm. Give a presentation means like. Uh, uh, Exponer. Yes, uh, maybe to make a presentation could, at work, could, um, it could be whenever you present results. Like a like a project, 
like a project, oh, okay. results, report, reports. Okay. okay. Uh, so yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. And uh, do you write letters? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, do you interview your candidate? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, great. Okay. So now, <laughs> observations, okay? Pronunciation, mm -hmm. client. Mm -hmm. Clients. Client. Client. Yes. Business. Okay. Business. 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 Mm -hmm. And the last one, attend. Attend. Yes. Okay, so uh, Brian, you will go to another room, okay? All right. All right. So Brian, yes. Now you are going to practice with Erebin, okay? Okay. Yes. Okay, all right. Do you make phone calls? Yes, yes, I do. Okay. And do you talk to friends? Yes, I do. Do you use Zoom? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Do you print documents? Yes, I do. Do you make coffee? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Do you prepare invoice? Yes, I do. Do you go um bunny's trip? Mm, no, I, 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 don't. No, I, don't. I don't know. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, mm -hmm. No, I don't. Okay. Okay. No, I don't. Do you write emails English? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Do you attend meetings? ¿Qué es eso? Una reunión. Yes. Ah, okay. Una reunión. okay. Yes, I do. Okay. And do you photocopy? Yes, photocopy I do. The comment. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Okay. And do you deal with suppliers? Supplier? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Uh, do you give presentation? Presentation? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Do you write later? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Do you interview help candidates? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Okay. Okay. okay observation. Okay. About pronunciation, repeat after me, Ribbon. Job. 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 And repeat after me and say business. Business. Yes. Okay. Job. 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 Okay. Perfect. Yes. Continue. Now, okay. if it's your turn. Okay. Continue. Okay. Perfect. Do you? Did you finish? Uh, no. Is prepare. ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Oh, prepare. Uh, uh, prepare. Uh, do you do you prepare invoice? Invoices. Invoices. Mm -hmm. I don't know. No, I don't. No, I don't. Correct. Mm -hmm. Do you go on business trips? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. uh, do you write emails in English? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Do you attend meetings? Yes, I do. Do you photocopy documents? Yes, I do. Do you deal with supplying? Okay. Supplies, supplies, 
suppliers? Suppliers. Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Uh, do you give present prese presentation? Yes. Yes, I do. Do you write letter? No, I don't. Do you ay, esa no me acuerdo cómo se dice que interview? Interview. No, oh, do you interview of can, candidate? Okay. No, I don't. Repeat after me and say job. Job candidate. Job, job. job candidate. Yes, job. Okay. Ya estuvimos, teacher. All right. So now, <laughs> let me ask you, Marcelo. Marcelo, what does Tania do at work? Is... According to what she told you. Ok, acorde a lo que le dijo Tania. Ok, eh, auxiliary, uh -huh. eh, administrative, administrativo, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Cómo oh, se ok, 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 ok. Um, but now, let's focus on this, de esto. De eso quiero que me diga lo que ella le dijo que hace. For example... Tania makes okay. phone calls. Tercera ah, cosa. Okay. Go. Tania Mary y make phone calls. Okay. In... No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Tania make um told the clients. Clients. Oh, okay. So Tania talks. Talks to clean. Clients. Ah, clients. Okay. okay. What else? ¿Qué más? What else? Eh, Tania told print document. Oh, Tania prints. Print document. Documents, okay. Prints. Tania eh, Prepare, 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 prepare in voice. Okay, now, prepares. Prepares. Very good, prepares. Okay. What eh, else? Sorry? What else? ¿Qué más? En... Mm -hmm. eh, Photocopy documents. Ok, Tania, photocopies documents. Ok. Eh, solamente. Okay. Y lo demás no lo hace. Ok, Tania, what does Marcelo do? Oh, we cannot hear you, Tania. Marcelo makes phone call. Okay. Call. Calls. Makes. Uh -huh. Makes. Eh, Marcelo talk to clients. 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 Uh -huh. Marcelo eh, prints documents. Ok. Eh, Marcelo makes coffee. Ok, perfect. Yes. Marcelo prepares invoice. Ok. Invoices. Invoices. Eh, Marcelo write emails in English. Ok. Marcelo attends Meeting. Ok. Marcelo. Photocopy documents. Ok. Eh, y and Marcelo. Del Wins Suppliers. 
deals with suppliers. Okay. They don't with suppliers. Mm -hmm. Only. Only that. Only that. Okay, perfect. Let me call you back to the main room, okay? Give me one second. I'm going to call you back to the main room. Give me one second. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to ask, let me see, Brian, you, you were with Erica, okay. Brian, Brian, yes. can you tell me what, what does Erica do from the list of things or mm. activities that we have? Yes, I do. And first, uh, he, he make a uh, phone calls. He talked to she, sorry, she. <laughs> she talked to clients. Mm -hmm. No, you eh, she don't use Zoom. She doesn't. She doesn't, sorry. And she print documents. She prints. She prints. She makes coffee. Makes. She doesn't prepare prepare invoice. Prepare. Prepare. Okay. She doesn't go on business trip. Okay. She doesn't write emails or uh, in English. Okay. She she attend uh, meetings. She photocopy documents. Photocopies. And... What? Photocopies. Yeah. Photocopy okay. documents. Okay. And. She doesn't deal with suppliers. Okay. She doesn't give up presentations. Okay. She write letters and okay. she doesn't interview your candidates. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Erica, can you tell us what does Brian do and what he doesn't do as well? Uh, he he made phone calls. Okay. Uh, he talked to client clients. Talks okay to clients. Uh, he he doesn't use Zoom. Okay. Print document. Prints. Mm -hmm. Print document. Uh, he he doesn't make coffee. Perfect. Okay. He he doesn't prepare invoice. Prepare. Prepare. Okay. Invoices. Okay. Next. He he doesn't go um business trips. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. He doesn't write email in English. Okay, perfect. Next. He doesn't attend meetings. Okay, next. He photocopy document. He photocopies documents. Okay, next. And he doesn't deal with supplier. Okay, next. He doesn't give presentation. Mm -hmm. He doesn't write letters. Okay. He doesn't interview job candidates. Job candidates. Perfect. Thank you, Erica. Okay, Yvette, tell us what does Irving do? Okay. He makes phone calls. Yes. He talks to clients. Okay. He doesn't use Zoom. Okay. And he prints documents. Prints, okay. Prints. And he doesn't make coffee. Okay. 
he prepared invites. Prepares. Prepare. Okay. And he go on business trips. He goes. He go on go. business trips. Okay. Go on. And mm -hmm. um, he write email and mm, sorry, I don't write email in English. He doesn't. He, he doesn't. Sorry. And um, um, he attend meeting. He attends. He attends meeting. Yes. Okay. And he photocopy documents. Okay. Um, he doesn't deal with suppliers. Okay. Nice. Um, he doesn't give presentation. Okay. Um, he writes letters. Okay. He interviews job candidates. He interviews. Interview. Job yes. candidates. Yes. Yes, okay. Okay. Very okay. good. Erwin, what does Yvette do? She makes phone calls. Mm -hmm. She talks to friends. Yes. She uses Zoom. She uses. Mm -hmm. Uses. Uses. Yes. She uses Zoom. Yes. She brings documents. Yes. She makes coffee. Makes. She prepares invoice. Prepares, okay. Prepares invoice. I doesn't. She doesn't go on business trips. Okay. Um. She doesn't write emails in English. Okay. She attends meetings. Perfect. She photocop. She. For a copy document. For a copy documents, okay. Um, I, 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 she doesn't deal with suppliers. Suppliers, okay. Um, she give pre presentation. Okay. She writes letters. Okay. She doesn't interview job. Perfect. You said job. Excellent. Okay. Suleima, what does Liliana do? Fíjese de que no, no la escuché. No estuve hablando, pero no, no me respondió. Okay. So. Yo lo tomé el de Tania. Okay. Very good. So let us know what does Tania do. Eh, uh, she does may she does tall tall to oh, climb. She tall. doesn't. She doesn't. Hmm? Ella no 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 hace llamadas. No. All right. She doesn't. She doesn't make phone calls. Mm -hmm. She tall to climb. She talks. She talks. Okay. She doesn't use Zoom. Okay. Next. Uh -huh. She she bring, she brings she brings document. Okay. She doesn't make coffee. Okay. She. Mm, how do you say la pronunciación? Pronunciation. Prepares. Come. Prepares. Pre she prepares invoice. Okay. She doesn't go on business trips. Yes. Business trip. Yes. Mm -hmm. She doesn't write emails in English. Okay. She doesn't attend meeting. Okay. She 
for a cut for a copy document. document for a scarf document and she doesn't deal with supplies suppliers she doesn't guide presentation gives Give. Give. and she doesn't write letters okay she doesn't interview hot candidates. Repeat after me and say job. Job. Candidates. Candidates. Job. Job. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let's continue. Let's move. Okay. So as you can see right here, we have look at the activities below. We are going to look at the activities below. And we should write the correct activity under each picture, okay? But in this case, what we are going to do is that we are going to base on the image that we are seeing. Number one, what do you see? What do you see on this one? From those that are in pink, which one goes in number one? What? What's the the Number two. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. Okay. Okay. Let's let's leave it like go to the gym right now. Number three. Go shopping. Go shopping. Go Number shopping. four. Meet friends. Meet friends. Meet friends. Meet friends. Number Go shopping. Go oh. shopping. Go to the gym. Okay. Uh, number six. Go skiing. Number read. 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 Just read. 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 Okay, read. Okay, read. Read. Number seven. Go skiing. Go skiing. Go skiing. And number eight. Good. Hook. Okay, so let's focus on number two and number five. Number two and number five. Okay, guys. How do you say, how do you say ir a trotar? Number two, está trotando. So, in English, this activity, go jogging. 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 Yes, go jogging. Cuando usted ve a alguien, ah, esa persona está trotando. Mm. Jogging. Ok. Ir a trotar. Go jogging. And then number five, go to the gym. Ok. Very good. So right now I'm going to play a recording. I'm going to play a video, okay? So you can, uh, you should listen, okay? And read at the same time. You are going to listen and read at the same time. Okay, just let me. Okay, here we go. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Okay. Did you listen? Did you listen? Yes. Okay, perfect. So Lauren, Brian, Justin, Marcelo. Right. Uh, uh, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love a sport. Really? What sport do you like? Um, um hockey, uh, Bus, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. Wow, you are really good at athlete. 
When, when do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play the sport. I just watch the thing on tele television. Right. I just watch them on television. Okay. I just watch them on television. Yes. Okay, guys. So right now we already listened to this short conversation. And as you can see, we have what? What do you do in your free time? Open question. Open question is no close. Mm -hmm. It's open. So Lauren, really? What sports do you like? Open question. When do you play all these sports? Open questions. So today we are going to start talking about WH questions words with the simple present tense. Okay. So as you can see, we have what, how often, when, what time, who, where, and how. Those are the WH questions that we are going to cover today. Okay. What, how often, when, what time, who, where, and how. Okay. So now let's continue. We also have examples. What do you eat for breakfast? What do you eat? for breakfast. Let me ask you, what do you eat for breakfast, guys? Eggs. Eggs. And uh, I forgot the I forgot the traduction for frijoles. Oh, translation? It means. Means, right. Perfect. Means and eggs. And, and maybe beans. cheese. And eggs and maybe cheese. Okay, very good. Now, how often, let me ask you, how often do you receive English classes? How often? Um, one question, what is often? Often? Yes. Okay, so how often, in this case, often, guys, means con qué frecuencia, qué a menudo. Cuando usted escuche how often, they are asking you, le están preguntando con qué frecuencia hace usted algo. How often do you receive English classes? How often? Uh -huh. How often? ¿Cómo sería todos los días? Okay, every day, as you said. Every day, very good. Okay, I receive English classes every day. Okay, so who do you learn English with? Who? Remember that who is quien? Who do you learn English with? Con. So, con quien recibe English classes? Con quien aprende? Learn. Un verbo que significa aprender. Learn means aprender. So, who do you learn English with? Oh, well, with Marcelo, with Suleima, with Yvette, with Brian, all of you. Okay. When. When means cuando. When do you receive English classes? When. When do you receive English classes, Yvette? When? Um, the um, Monday? Mm -hmm. um, Friday. Okay. From Monday to Friday. Okay. Dígalo. From Monday to Friday. Perfect. And where, where do you study English? Where, place, where? I study English, where? 
In my room. In my room. Okay. Very good. In your room. Okay. And what time, what time do you receive English classes? What time? 8 p.m. to 10. From 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And how do you feel? ¿Cómo se siente? How do you feel? I feel good. I feel happy. I feel fantastic. I feel tired. Okay. So, WH questions. WH questions. So, that means that you need to give more information. You need to give. Tiene que dar más información. Con estas, las WH. Okay. Let's move. And we have more examples. We have more examples. Help us reading number one, Marcelo. Number two, Tanya. Number three, Yvette. Number four, Suleima. Number five, Erika. Number six, eh, Jose. Number one, the question and the answer. Question and answer. Number one. What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Baseball. Two. Uh, what do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. Uh, we have a thing. Yes. Three. Where do you play? We play at Chabro Hero Park. Perfect. Four. How often do you practice? We practice on... Once? Once or, or twice. Or white a, a week. Okay, five. When do you practice? We practice on Sunday. Six. What time do you start? We start at 10 in the morning. Thank you. Pronunciation, repeat after me, guys. Once. 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 Twice, twice. What is the meaning of once and what is the meaning of twice? If I say, I practice once in a week, once, una vez. Once significa una vez. And twice, Two times, dos veces. Once, una vez. Twice, dos veces. Pronunciation. Who. Who. No es who, es who. With J. Who. Okay. Do you have questions? And we have the structure. WH word plus do or does. It depends on the subject. Depende del sujeto. That's why I was asking you in the previous practice, right? Les preguntaba. What does Tanya do at work? Porque estábamos hablando de she. So, what, W-H, what does Tania, right? What does Tania, subject, do, verb, base for, no cambia porque llevamos el auxiliar, complement. Okay, so now let's move. 
And we have four sentences. We have four sentences. Okay, let's continue. So it says, Ryan studies English at Insafor. Which is the question? Which is the question? Which is the WH question that we need to create? Where Brian study English? Oh, but remember the structure. Remember the structure. So WH question word plus do or does. Where does? Where does? Brian is study. Study. English and support. Oh, mm, but if I'm, I'm asking, where does Brian study English? There. My answer is Brian studies English at in support. What about number two? Her friends live in London. What is the question for that? Where does where does friend her friends live live and which is the answer uh, what does oh okay so number three okay so what does uh if it study Yvette study, okay? Study. Let me ask you, this, this is a question for you. What does Yvette study? Yvette studies English. This is the question and this is the answer. Number four. What do? What do? Or the that? supermarket? The supermarket, okay. I sell apples. Okay, but this is the question. Esa es solamente la pregunta. La respuesta es apples, porque le está preguntando. What? Okay, and let's let's see something. Number four. Do or does the supermarket is singular or plural? She is do. Are you sure? Do we use do for does, does. you, we, and they? Uh -huh. And we use does for he, she, and it. it. Uh -huh. And the supermarket oh. is a place, it. Okay. So what does the supermarket sell? What is sell, teacher? Sell, vender, right? So what does the supermarket sell? The supermarket sells apples. apples. That is the answer. So you see, we have the WH question and we also have the answer in that way. What questions do you have? ¿Qué preguntas tiene? ¿Qué dudas tiene? What questions do you have? Do you have doubts? No? Is it clear? Siempre, yo tengo una consulta. Siempre que se va a hacer una pregunta, tendría que empezar con el DAS. No, no, siempre, not always, not always. I'm going to show you why, not always. Because remember the structure? The structure is this one. The WH word, así se le conoce como WH. Eso es la WH word. What, who, where, how, when, what. That is the WH, okay? WH word plus, it could be do, or does. It could be either or. Puede ser o do or does. ¿De qué depende? De su subject. Si está hablando de she, va a utilizar does. Si está hablando de I, va a utilizar do. 
depende de su sujeto. Lo mismo que hemos venido eh, estudiando, lo que hemos estudiado, nada más que ahora le agregamos la WH, que transforma la pregunta en una pregunta abierta, ya no cerrada, como las que acabamos de ver hace eh, un día. E igual ayer todavía practicamos eso. Yes, Tania. Eh, si en dado caso no hubiera un eh, sujeto, no se pone el, el do ni el das. Um, ok. ¿Y, ¿Y cuándo no podría haber un sujeto? Eh, cuando se pregunta qué horas son. Ok. O oh, si preguntamos qué horas son. Eh, tendríamos que hacer una pregunta con el verbo to be. What time is it? Ya no sé. Ahí no se ocuparía el, el, el do ni el das. Correct. No. Uh -huh. cuando, lleva, cuando lleva el verbo to be. Correct. When you have the verb to be, is the verb to be. When you have the simple present tense, do or does. Pero el verbo to be se pone siempre normal. No se le agrega así como las otras. S, U. Oh, no. No. Okay. No. Yes. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Okay. So now, let's continue. Okay. We already finished that one. Okay. So now, what do you do in your free time? Listen and read, okay? Listen, I'm going to play the audio, okay? I'm going to play the audio. Listen and read. Read this conversation. Give me one second. I'm going to play the audio. So here we go. So what do you do in your free time? Well, I often watch TV in the evening. What about you? I go jogging and I sometimes meet friends in the evening. How often do you go jogging? I go jogging every morning. And you? I hardly ever go jogging. Maybe once a year. Do you cook? No, I never cook. Mm -hmm. I always order pizza. And you? I cook every day. I love cooking. How often do you travel? I travel twice a year. In winter, I usually go skiing. Do you travel? Yes, every summer. I relax on the beach but I rarely travel in the winter. Okay, again, one more time, okay, listen. So what do you do in your free time? Well, I often watch TV in the evening. What about you? I go jogging and I sometimes meet friends in the evening. How often do you go jogging? I go jogging every morning, and you? I hardly ever go jogging, maybe once a year. Do you cook? No, I never cook. I always order pizza. And you? I cook every day. I love cooking. How often do you travel? I travel twice a year. In winter, I usually go skiing. Do you travel? Yes, every summer. I relax on the beach, but I rarely travel in the winter. Okay. Perfect. All right. So what do you see on this? conversation. What do you see that we're using? We see often, sometimes, hardly ever, never, always, usually, rarely. And as you can see, we have, what do you do in your free time? And look at this type of questions, right? So what do you do in your free time? Open question. Do you cook? Do you travel? How often do you travel? You see? We use open and closed questions. All right? So now, when it comes to adverbs of frequency, we have always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, and never. And you see the percentage. Okay, so um, let's see. Help us reading the examples, Marcelo. 
help us reading the first five examples. And the last uh, four examples, please, Liliana. Go, Marcelo. Read. The, read one, two, three, four, five. And then Liliana, one, two, three, four. Read. I all, always have breakfast a, a, at 8 a.m. I usually take a shower at 6 a.m. I normally go to work at 8 a.m. I often eat, eat chicken at lunch. I something bug lunch at work. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yes, thank you. Yes, boo, bye. Oh no, bye, bye. Ah, okay. Liliana, thank you, Marcelo. Uh, I, ¿cómo se pronuncia esto? How do you pronounce occasionally? I occasionally go to the gym. Okay. I seldom go to the beach. Yes. The beach. I help rain every sleep early. I never eat pitch. Great. Thank you. Okay. So let me ask you, do you have questions? I always, always, okay, always, every single day, every single day means always. From Monday to Sunday, always, always, okay, 100%. Always. Tell me something that you do. Um, well, tell me something that you always do, guys. That you always, 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 always do. Tell me something. Work. Okay, I always work. Okay, yes, me too. I always work, Brian. Yeah. Okay, so usually, tell me something that you usually do. 90%. I usually sleep. I usually sleep? No, sleep de rasurar. Shave. Shave. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, will be. Normally, 80%. Tell me something that you normally do. Something I normally, I normally go to home every day. Oh, I normally go home. Go home. Yes. Hasta go home. Every day. No, because every day, entonces sería que usted always. Uh, okay. All right. Very good. Okay. So now we are going to practice. Any question? Do you have any question? Any doubt? What is the, what is the traduction for? Shell, seldom and uh, hardly ever. Okay, so instead of traduction, Brian, let's use what is the translation or what is the meaning. Okay, so seldom is rara vez. Rara vez. Rara vez. Okay, and hardly ever, ever. Prácticamente nunca. Prácticamente nunca. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Prácticamente nunca. And seldom, rara vez. Never. Nunca. 
that is the meaning. Awesome. Okay, guys. So any other doubt? Any other doubt? Any other question? No? Okay. So now let's practice speaking then. Okay. You are going to answer those three questions. The first one, what do you do on Saturday morning? Three sentences about your real life. Okay. What do you do on Sunday morning? Three sentences using adverbs of frequency. I want to hear that you are using adverbs of frequency. Okay. Then what do you do on weekdays? Three sentences, okay? Speaking, right? So here we go. Do you have any question right now? No? Is it clear the activity? Yes? Is it clear? Hello, can you hear me? Hi. Yes, is it clear? Is it clear the activity? Is it clear the activity? Yes. 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 All right, thank you. Yes. Right. Okay, so let's create the rooms again, but in a different way so you can practice with somebody else, okay? Let me see. Okay, here we go. Creo que vamos a, a realizar tres, tres cosas de las que hacemos por cada pregunta. Ahora. Yes. Uh -huh. okay, no sé, ¿en qué se este yo? Uh -huh. What did you do on Saturday morning? Ok, perfecto. Eh... Permita. De las actividades que realizo. No empiezo yo, no sé. Sí, mejor empiezo. <risa> <risa> ok. Saturday um, morning. I take a shower. Ok. And 6 a.m. At. Mm -hmm. At I am. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, um, the I'm the brush. Mm -hmm. Left, left, come on, left. Brush left. my teeth. Brush my teeth. Okay, brush my teeth. And um, it's a work. A, 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 H, M, A. Okay. 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 And Sunday, mm, I is a clean. Oh, on on Sunday, on Sunday, uh -huh. I clean. I clean. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sunday, I clean. Um. Sunday, uh, supermarket. Oh, on Sunday, oh. I go to the I go. Ah, okay, I go uh, to a supermarket. Yes. And um, I... Mm -hmm. I watch TV. I watch TV, okay. Uh-huh. And... La tercera. On weekdays. Erika, weekdays. ask number three. Pregúntale la tercera. 
what do you do on weekdays? Weekdays. Weekdays. Yeah. weekdays? Weekdays, días de la semana. ¿Qué hago? Yes, what do you do? Ah, cualquier. Ah, ok. Este... I am work. Tell a. Uh, Mm, a car. Okay. Okay. What do you want to say, Yvette? ¿Qué quiere, eh, you work. I work. Ah, en el trabajo. Ajá. Se el teléfono. Oh, okay. So. ¿Cómo es? Ajá. I. I answer. I answer oh. the phone at work. Ah, okay. I ask for the phone at work. Okay. Um, okay. Hago mucho, pero no es como es. Try, try, try. Hay que aprender. Ah, exacto. Um, Um, I I to lunch. Um, I have lunch. I have lunch. At what time? Uh, um, I to go to the Ah, okay. Twelve. <laughs> okay. Go? Twelve. No. Okay. Twelve. No. At noon. Okay. 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 Y este. I take a bus. I take a bus. I take a bus. Yes. At 5 p.m. Right. Okay. Okay. Ahora, Erika. Yes. What did you. Um, Ahora usted me pregunta a mí, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, the first question is, what do you do on Saturday morning? Okay. Um, usually, uh, go to eat pupusas. And <laughs> always uh, go to planes de renderos mm -hmm. always es como que algunas veces verdad always is always no, no, is, es, siempre siempre, siempre. Yes. ah pues no sería eh, I often creo que es verdad algunas often veces often es a menudo correct ok entonces sería sí often and planes de rendero mm -hmm. and in the night so, and after uh, go to receive uh, English classes in the university. So, yeah, and in the university. Okay. Okay. And what do you do on Friday is the next question, right? Yes. What do you do on Friday on on what do you do on Friday morning? Friday in the morning, I usually go to the work. Verbo preparar. I'm sorry? Verbo preparar, perdón. Ah, I need to prepare. 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 Yes. Okay. And in the morning, prepare. prepare. I prepare. Uh, I prepare the product. Okay. And always receive class online. I always receive classes online. Okay. I always. I always receive classes, classes online. online. 
Perfect, I will see. Thank you. Okay. Continue. And the last one is, what do you Hi, teacher. Did you finish? Yes. Okay, I want to listen to you. I want to hear you. Yeah. Marcelo, ask the first question to, to Urban. The first one. Okay. Sería ahorita. Yes. Irving, what do you on Saturday morning? What do you do? I always take a shower at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. I usually make coffee. Okay. I normally work. Yes. The the second one. Uh, what do you on Sunday morning? Mm -hmm. I normally sleep. Mm -hmm. I always go to the church. Okay. I normally go to the park. Okay. Irving, what do you on, week. on week, days. weekdays? Mm -hmm. I always have breakfast at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. I always have dinner at 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. I always go to work at um, 7 a.m. Thank you. Now you ask Irvin. Irvin, you ask Marcelo. Okay. What do you do on Saturday morning? Morning. I always uh, take a shower at seven eight a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, make coffee mm -hmm. and. 8 a.m. and drive motorcycle. Okay. Second one. What do you do on Sunday morning? I make breakfast. Mm -hmm. I clean my room. Mm -hmm. And go to the run, runner. Go oh, running? Clear. Go running. running. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you do on weekdays? I go on the business trip. I make phone calls and attend meeting meet, meetings. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, yes, attend. Attend. Ahí me attend. Okay. Sí, pero que no, que no las respuestas teníamos que ocupar lo, lo de él. Yes. La frecuencia. La verbo yeah. a frecuencia. Mm -hmm. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Oh, ah. Okay. Yes. You did it perfect. Also, you, Marcelo, but you forgot the adverse of frequent, okay? But don't worry, okay? I mean... Your sentences are correct, okay? Las que dijo está bien. Lo único que no les agregó es el adverbio de frecuencia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ese sí se lo teníamos que agregar. Yes. <risa> Solamente para eh, hacer la oración más, más completa. Uh, como más estructurada, por yes. así decirlo. Correct. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yes. But you are correct as well. También lo dijo correcto. Nada más que no le agregó la verbo de frecuencia. But, I mean, it's correct, okay? It is correct. Okay. All right. 
So let me call you back. Give me one second, okay? Okay, so let's continue, guys. Okay, how healthy are you? How healthy are you? Okay, so guys, how often do you cook? How often do you cook? I want to know how often do you cook? Every day. Every day. Okay, Yvette cooks every day. And the other ones, how often do you cook? How often? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. And number two, how often do you go jogging? Never. <laughs> Never. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. Okay. Okay. And how often do you watch TV? Never. Never, Marcelo, really? No. Yeah. Never. Okay. Sometimes. Marcelo, every day. Every day, sometimes. Okay. And how often do you go to the TV? Never. 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 Oh my God, guys, and how often do you drink water? Always. Every day. Every day, always. Mm, drink yes. water, drink water, okay? And how often do you eat vegetables? Uh, Don't understand. Vegetables, how often do you eat vegetables? Vegetables? Never. Never? Some, sometimes. 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 Okay. Sometimes. Okay. Oh, my God. So how healthy are you? Okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to take the attendance. Attendance. Okay, attendance. Here we go. Attendance. Um. Okay, so Brian Antonio Castro Molina. Present. Thank you. Christian Marcelo Ramirez Morán. Present. Thank you. Elmer Alexander Coto Sorto. Eric Alexander Escalante Barrillas. Present. Thank you. Erika Beatriz Reyes Méndez. Present. Thank you. Eman Franklin Emanuel Flores Portillo. Gerson Josué Abarca Aranda. Irma del Tránsito Alegría Martínez. Ervin Francisco Peraza Herrera. Present. Thank you. Yvette Elvira Aquino Peña. Present. Thank you. Johnny Iván Argueta Argueta. José Enrique Siliesar Alas. Thank you. Jocelyn Guadalupe Romero Évora. Kelvin Omar Martínez Ramírez. Liliana Beatriz Jiménez Colorado. Present. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Nuila Castro. Luis Ernesto Nuila Castro. Okay. Marco Rubén García Rodríguez. Reinaldo Alberto Vázquez Torres. Tania Vanessa Moreno Navas. Present. Thank you. En Suleima Guadalupe Chicas Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Okay. So let's continue. Let's continue. And right now, before we are almost done. Okay. Almost done with the class. Yvette, today, remember that you have the feedback. Okay. Feedback today. Yvette, 
with you. Okay, guys. So let's um, let's focus on marketing vocabulary. Okay, this is marketing vocabulary, just for you to learn more words. Okay, so let's see. Number one, what is this? Marketing. What is this? Brochure. This is a brochure. Are you sure that this is a brochure? No. Commercial. Commercial. No. A commercial. Uh, no. A discount. A discount. Okay. And what is this? Number two. Oh. That is a discount. Good. So what is this? A billboard. Yes. Buy a publicitaria. A billboard. Mm -hmm. Discount. What about this one? What is this? Number three. Logo. It's logo. Logo. Number four. It's a commercial. It's a commercial. Number five. Uh, <laughs> like right now. Like. It is a recommendation. A recommendation. recommendation. Number six. What is this? Telemarketing. Telemarketing. Perfect. Number seven. It's, uh, Internet marketing. Internet marketing. Internet marketing. Internet marketing. And number eight. A brochure. A brochure. Okay, so now let's see. Does your company have a logo? Does your company have logo? No, we don't. No, it doesn't. Oh, okay. No, it doesn't. Does your company offer discounts? Does your company offer discounts? What is offer? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Number three, does your company get many recommendations? Uh -huh. Does your company get many recommendations? Yes, it does or no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay. Number four. Does your company advertise on billboards? Uh -huh. No, it don't. No, it doesn't. Doesn't. Yes. Number five. Okay, number five. Create number five, you, please. Create number five. Create number five. Your company. Does your company. Does your company. Use usual internet, internet marketing. Internet marketing. <laughs> yes. Does your company use. Internet marketing? Yes, I does. Yes, it. It does. Perfect. Number six. Create number six. Does your company usually telemarketing? Oh, does your company use? Use. Telemarketing? Does your company use telemarketing, guys? Uh, yes, it, it, yes. It, does. it does. Erica, does your company use telemarketing? Yes, yes, uh, uh, it, it does. Yes, it does. Liliana, does your company use telemarketing? No, it not. No, it doesn't. 
No, it doesn't. Yes. Uh, Yvette, does your company use telemarketing? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Eric, does your company use telemarketing? Yes, it does it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Thank you. Suleyma, does your company use telemarketing? No, it doesn't. Perfect. Number seven, Suleyma, create number seven. Your does your company print brochure? Okay. Does your company print brochures, Suleyma? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. What about your company, Brian? Does your company print brochures? No, no, they doesn't. No, it doesn't. That. Yes. Number eight. Create number eight, please, um, Yvette. Your company advertises on television. Does your company advertise on television? Advertise on television. No, okay. it doesn't. No, it doesn't. And your company, Marcelo, does your company advertise on television? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Liliana, does your company advertise on television? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Yes. Erica, does your company advertise on television? Yes, it does. Okay, Jose, does your company advertise on television? Seria, no. No, seria. Uh -huh. Yes, does your company advertise on television? No. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Tanya, does your company advertise on television? No, it doesn't. Okay. Brian, does your company advertise on television? No, it doesn't. Okay. Eric, does your company advertise on television? No, it doesn't. Perfect. Suleyma. Does your company advertise on television? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I just want to hear uh, some of you host it. What do you do on weekdays? What do you do on weekdays, Jose? Excuse me, repeat. What do you do on weekdays? I always uh, go to the work. Go to work, okay. Um, Erica, what do you do on Sunday? I often Sunday the whole. Yes. I usually go to work. Okay. Um Tanya, what do you do on Saturday morning? I usually go to work. Okay. Liliana, what do you usually do on Sunday morning? I watch a day shower. Oh, I take a shower. Shower. Okay. Oh, ah, okay. I always take a shower. Okay. I always take a shower. Perfect. And Eric, what do you do on Saturday morning? I work every day. I usually work. I usually work every day. 
Oh, no. I usually work. I usually work. Perfect. Okay, guys. Do you have any questions for me before we go? Do you have any questions? Something that is not clear about today's class? Something that you would like to, to let me know? Hay algo que no comprendieron de esta clase? Hay algo que tengamos que, um, que necesita que le reforcemos? Teacher, eh, yo como con un poco tarde, sí tenía un poco de dudas en cuanto a la... <risa> al uso de las palabras, ¿verdad? Pero eh, yo reviso la clase y creo que quedó un poquito tarde. Ah, ok, ok, sí. La clase grabada se va a subir el día de ahora para que usted la pueda verificar, ¿verdad? Eh, si e igual tiene preguntas después de verificar la clase, me la hace el día lunes. De igual manera, vamos a dar un repaso para que este, los que se conectaron un poquito tarde, tal vez podamos comprender un poquito mejor el día lunes, ¿verdad? Así que eh, nada más nuevamente hacer mención de las tareas. ¿okay? Recuerde que mire, hasta este día tiene que tener la tarea 10 antes de la medianoche, porque estos resultados se mandan a Insafor. ¿Ok? So, para los que no han terminado, porque yo ya vi quienes ah, terminaron, les agradezco a todos los que ya pues, completaron hasta la actividad 10, la tarea 10, y a los que no pues invitarlos a que por favor lo hagan, ¿sí? Y recuerde que este, esta semana venimos con midterm, ¿ok? Ya de la mitad, básicamente, ¿ok? So, if you don't have any other question, I'll see you back on Monday. Eh, la única que se queda, por favor, y vet, ¿ok? Then the other ones, you may go and have a good night. Rest, have a nice weekend, ¿ok? Good night. 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 Good night, Eric. Oh, yes. Las, bueno, en el caso anterior me recuerdo que aparecían como que donde poder hacer las tareas. Y me recuerdo dónde que aparecen. Ah, eh, en, en, en lo de la hoja, me está preguntando, José. Exacto. Ah, está okay. en el drive. Yes. Eh, pero no me recuerdo en cuál pestaña ah, es. En la de evaluation information. Ah, ok. Ok. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Good good night. night. Thank you, Jose. Ok, Yvette, how are you? How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you? How are you? Good. Good. Okay. So, Yvette, we are going to have this feedback because I need to mention some things, right, that I have noticed. And if you want, and in order for you to feel comfortable, we are going to do it this time in Spanish and English, okay? Esta vez el feedback va a ser como en español y en inglés porque es la primera vez. Okay. ok, pero la siguiente vez va a ser en inglés. Ok, 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 Yvette. So, le quiero preguntar: ¿Cómo se siente con las clases? How do you feel with classes? Con la dinámica, eh, cuál es su feedback, eh, si tiene alguna pregunta de algún tema que no ha comprendido, algo que me quiera comentar. Eh, pues la dinámica, yo la siento que está muy bien. El problema tal vez que, bueno, no sé si en general, pero es el tiempo, al menos yo personalmente, eh, no puedo estudiar mucho porque me voy temprano a trabajar, vengo tarde y que me queda una hora, media hora nada más para prepararme para la clase. Okay. Entonces eh, se me es bien difícil estudiar entre semanas. Sí. Normalmente tendré, tengo que hacerlo fin de semana. Pero, o sea... Hay veces sí, hay cositas que quizás por el, el, el lapso de que inglés es español y hay palabras que no las entiendo, sí. me cuesta un poquito más este, captar los ejercicios. Sí. Pero ya cuando los estamos haciendo y, y lo hacemos en grupo, sí logro entenderlos. Okay. Eh, una duda que sí tengo es en una tarea que hice. Okay. Que por cierto, la, la, la primera me salieron todas malas por el punto. 
que usted lo enfatiza bastante y sí es bien importante. Ah, esa, creo que las seis es, este, la volví a hacer, pero uh -huh. las últimas dos preguntas sí no logré. O sea, esas dos me salieron mal, uh -huh. pero no sé por qué, porque no logro ver que sea pregunta, question. Entonces, uh -huh. ah, okay, okay. Ajá, entonces no sé qué, qué, cuál era la respuesta, pues sí quisiera saber cuál es el error para saber cuál okay. es la respuesta. Perfecto. Uh -huh. Listo, ok. Eh, me dice tarea 6, ¿verdad? Sí, las 6 creo que es. Las uh -huh. últimas dos me salieron mal. Vale. Las primeras por el punto. Ok. Vale, veamos, le voy a mostrar mi pantalla, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Ok. Acá tenemos la tarea 6. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, supongo que es la 4 y la 5 en la que... La 4 y la 5, ajá. Okay. ajá. Veamos. Si se hacen speak portugués. Portugués, correcto. Ajá, portugués. Va, entonces yo lo hice así, va el punto al final, pero me salía mala. Y entonces, la pregunta está igual. We, we don't. Unscramble. Veamos. Unscramble the following affirmative and negative statements. Make sure to be in your sentence, ¿ok? With a capital letter and type a period at the end, ¿ok? Y puso uh -huh. todo mayúscula la primera y punto. Ajá, exacto, y punto. Okay, claro, porque al principio sí, todas las hice, pero no les puse el punto. Entonces me salieron todas malas. Pero, uh -huh. pero después lo, le, le, les agregué el punto. Y las últimas dos me salieron malas. Y no sé por qué. Ok. He works... Entonces ya no, le quise, ya no le quise poner el signo porque como dije yo, no, no sé si van a bajar a punto que va. No, ajá. <ríe> Me siga saliendo mala. Okay. So Entonces, you, vaya, veamos. We go to the cinema. Vamos a ver si we go to the cinema. Vamos a ver si a mí me da el mismo error. Vamos ajá. She doesn't, doesn't, así como yo lo estoy poniendo, lo puso usted, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, she doesn't speak, speak Portuguese. 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 Justo con mayúscula Portuguese. la P. Sí, con mayúscula. Right. So, we use. No, we don't use. We don't. Uh -huh. We don't. We don't. We don't use computers. 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 Okay. Veamos. A mí me salen mal. Bueno, ahí cuando lo vea y revise, no sé. Okay. O tal vez en algo me equivoqué. Ajá. Sí. O tal vez tal en vez, algo me equivoqué. No sé. Tal vez sin querer. A veces quizás usted le dio un espacio y dejó un espacio. Ah, puede bueno, ser. puede ser eso. Ah, si no, revisar, ¿verdad? Pero entonces Ajá. ya verifique que sí, sí, sí son, ¿verdad? No sé, tal vez en algo me equivoqué y no me, no me percaté. Ok, pero vaya. Pero usted ya, ya se fijó, eso. ¿verdad? Y, todo. Bye. y eso, y este, palabras nuevas que, que uno no, no sabe cómo se escriben ni cómo se pronuncian. Yo creo que en la pronunciación es donde más me, me, me está costando más. Ajá. Entenderlo. Eh, 40 quizás el inglés cuando usted lo habla en inglés o sea lo, por lo menos logro captar lo que usted sí. nos quiera entender este último ejercicio sí me había confundido que eran con los sometimes never ah, todo eso sí. pero sí o sea se aprende verdad sí. eso y quiero ver por lo demás siento que los ejercicios así como nos hacemos en sala nos ayuda bastante porque si uno sí. no sabe el otro lo apoya exacto Ajá, y siento que interactuamos un poquito mejor así cuando hace las salas. Sí, en realidad es para que ustedes se sientan más como, eh, más eh, cómodos en el sentido de que se puedan expresar más fácilmente. Porque en grupo igual, cuando los tenemos a todos en el mismo salón, si participa uno, se tarda un poquito y después el, el último pasamos 20 minutos y nunca pasan todos, ¿verdad? Sí, Entonces, yo creo que eso es también, eso de... Creo que, bueno, digo yo que en general, tal vez un poquito de temor el equivocarnos. Pero siento que es mejor porque así sale uno de la duda y ya no se le olvida. Correcto. Uh -huh. eh, eso de, del, eh, del miedo como equivocarse es normal cuando uno va comenzando aprendiendo el idioma, ¿verdad? Pero el objetivo de hacer también las salas es que ustedes vayan agarrando como más seguridad, ¿verdad? En ustedes para que puedan preguntar cuando ya se les llame a la sala principal. En ocasiones, pues, eh, no, no, no será así como 
tan rápido, ¿verdad? Hay algunos que les cuesta un poquito más que a otros. Sin embargo, el propósito es que se sientan cómodos y que empiecen a agarrar como eso, ¿verdad? De estar preguntando y de preguntar y, y, y pues de querer saber más, porque al final solo así se aprende, solo preguntando y también equivocándose, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, cabal, así, pero cuando estamos en las salas, si uno sabe cómo escribirlo, pronunciarlo, dice el otro nombre, se, se escribe así, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. o, lo, o, lo, o lo buscamos en Google. <risa> Okay. Bueno. Pero hay veces siento que así cambia sí. el, el significado. Okay. O sea, individuales eh, de una forma, pero ya en oración eh, ya es diferente. Correcto. Sí, en realidad, eh, bueno, el feedback que yo tengo para usted, pues es súper positivo. En realidad usted participa bastante, ¿verdad? Y, y es súper bueno. Creo que en realidad se nota se nota el entusiasmo y las ganas de aprender y pues es súper notorio cuando yo estoy en los salones y usted pues está practicando siempre, cuando no, no comprende algo usted pues pregunta, eh, participa, opina, ¿verdad? entonces eso es muy bueno, ¿verdad? Siga así, no lo deje de hacer, incluso siga un poquito más ya ahora cuando estemos en, la, en las salas, trate de hablar con su compañero en inglés, ¿verdad? Trate de, de decir palabritas para ir como agarrando más eh, más uh -huh. eh, vocabulario y más estructuras y que ya se le vaya quedando todo uh -huh. para que no le cueste y eh, por lo otro también que me comenta verdad cuando no sabemos algo lo buscamos excelente hay que hacer uso de los recursos que tenemos ¿verdad? en este caso pues cuando no puedo estar yo en los salones porque a veces me voy en uno me voy en el otro y estoy así entonces a veces uh -huh. no puedo estar como en todos divididos pues uh -huh. pero sí, okay. pero eh, tratamos de, de de estar pues pendientes de los más que podemos al mismo tiempo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y hasta donde yo he visto, usted pues siempre está participando, siempre está practicando. Me gusta que siempre tiene como el control y es decir, ok, empezamos, empezás tú, empezás yo, y estemos perdiendo el tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, pues sí. me gusta bastante porque usted hace que la otra persona vaya al ritmo también a lo que vamos, ¿verdad? Practicar. Entonces, eso está súper bien. A mí me gusta que usted sea sí. así porque en realidad no pierde el tiempo. Está ahí y va, venimos a practicar y a eso es lo que vamos, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, porque cuando me quedo hoy en la sala que tal vez otra persona no se ha conectado a algo, este, le digo a mi hijo, ¿verdad? ven y ayúdame. <risa> Decimos una y otra. <risa> Ay, okay. Entonces, él me apoya bastante en eso, porque cuando no sé pronunciar o, o cómo se dice, yo le pregunto, mira cómo se dice, cómo se hace. Okay. Entonces, ahí... Tengo este apoyo. Ah, porque apoyo. Que, ajá, okay. ah, sí, porque sí. con usted entre semana también a nosotros se nos dificulta bastante estarle preguntando. Entonces, hay veces okay. lo que hacemos con Zuli, que solo vemos los mensajes que mandan, ¿va? pero como no podemos contestar, pues ni modo. ¿va? Ok. Entre nosotros dos, hay veces nos ponemos a mí, que me cuesta eso. Ah, sí, pero mire, dice que dice así, va. Entonces, ahí estamos. Ah, vale, pero se apoya, es importante. Sí, 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 es cierto. Entonces, este, sí, la verdad es que yo estoy. Hay veces uno pierde el, el interés, podría decirse, por el trabajo, sí. por la edad. Entonces, este, pero sí, a mí siempre me gustó eso y hace tiempo empecé a estudiar, pero ya no pude. Sí. Entonces, eh, este, ahora que está esta oportunidad ¿no? de que por medio de la empresa y sin costo, pues nunca es tarde, ¿verdad? Sí, siempre se bien. ocupa. Claro que Así sí. que ojalá que primero Dios que, que logremos aprenda rápido. ¿no? ¿Sí? En sí, realidad, pues, idea. Sí. sí, poco a poco, ¿verdad? Poco a poco no es nada forzado y que lo voy a llevar corriendo y así, no. Sino que es poco a poco. Uno comprende cuando pues vamos comenzando. ¿verdad? Así que no se preocupe, vamos súper bien, vamos pues en Gracias. el camino correcto y siga así. No se sí, voy a seguir ir, estudiando. <ríe> Es lo que falta, de que no tengo mucho tiempo, entonces yo quisiera todos los días practicar y lo que se vio en la clase anterior, ¿verdad? Sí. Porque siento que sí es la secuencia, pero sí, sí. se dificulta un poquito, ¿verdad? pero ahí sí. vamos, poco Compre. a poco. Ajá. Bueno, me da gusto que pues esté aprendiendo, ¿verdad? Que le guste la, la dinámica de la clase, que se ponga a estudiar por su cuenta, todo súper bien. Y cualquier uh -huh. duda, alguna pregunta que usted tenga, siempre pues hágamela saber. ¿verdad? Incluso okay. si, si es de la plataforma y me, mire, teacher, yo tengo esa duda, ¿por qué me salieron malas? No importa, uh -huh. yo me puedo quedar con usted y digo, vaya, comentémonos, yo lo voy a explicar y todo, pero siempre pregunten, ¿sí? 
Sí, porque es mejor salir de duda y no quedarse sí, claro. claro que sí. Bye. Sí, está bien. Ok. Y bueno. bueno. Un gusto. Cuídese. Feliz gracias, noche. igual. Feliz noche. Bendiciones. Bye. Gracias, igual. Bye. Gracias, Bye. igual. Bye.